I thought I'll show you guys my one pot curry chicken sauce. It's quick, it's easy, anyone can do it and you can substitute a lot of the ingredients I'm going to use. I'm using chicken but you don't have to, you can use turkey, you can use whatever you have. Um, the few vegetables I'm going to use, you can. You don't have to use all of it, you can use some of it, just depends on what you have. This is typically what I would make maybe after work, um, something just easy, quick and I can say healthy also. is some chicken parts, some vegetables, um, red, green, yellow and orange bell peppers, some onions, some carrots, some mushrooms. Um, we're going to need some cornstarch. If you don't have cornstarch, I'll tell you in a minute what else you can use. Some curry powder, some bay leaves, some um, stock cubes and some salt. So first I'm going to chop my onions to cook the chicken with. You put your chicken parts in the pot. Throw in your bay leaves, add some stock cube, some salt, add your onions and then some water. Um, I'm using soft chicken and they don't take a lot uh, a lot of time to cook so I'm not going to put too much water just before it gets to the level of the chicken. Set this to cook on medium heat and then I'll cut the vegetables. So I'm only going to use a quarter of the bell peppers, a quarter of the red a quarter of the yellow, a quarter of the orange, and a quarter of the green. Roughly chop all your vegetables, the carrots, the peppers, the onions, mushrooms into um, nice big chunks. This would go with the bell peppers. I add the curry powder into the midst, the chicken stock. We're going to mix the corn flour with some water. So this is two tablespoons of corn flour. This is the uh, thickener for the sauce. Um, if you don't have corn flour, you can use regular flour or my mom has used ugi before, but make sure to use the white one. Um, I think that doesn't have as much of a strong flavor as all the other colored ones. Um, you can use ugi, akamu or pap. Um, it's the same thing. You can use that to thicken your sauces. So you mix this until you have this consistency and you just set this aside. We're going to need this later. Now that we've cut our vegetables, we'll just set them aside and wait for the chicken to finish cooking. That will be about 15, 20 minutes. So this has been cooking for about 15 minutes. It's soft and tender now. So what we do next is we take out the chicken pieces. We take the chicken pieces out, we take the bay leaves out also, um, we're done with them and set aside. So turn down the heat and next we'll add the carrots and the mushrooms. We'll cover this and let it cook for two minutes. Don't forget to turn up the heat all the way up to medium. So the carrots and the mushrooms have been cooking for about two minutes now. Um, next we add the cornstarch. Then we add the bell peppers and let this cook for one minute. So 
so we don't want to overcook the bell peppers next we throw back the chicken pieces into the sauce now you want to taste for salt okay this tastes just fine if you like spice like me you can put in your chili flakes now um, and let that cook for another one minute before you take it off the heat and this is our one pot curry chicken So guys, this is my one pot curry chicken sauce. I've served it with couscous today, but you can serve it with spaghetti or with white rice or with um, pretty much whatever you want, bell plantain or yams. I hope you try this recipe sometime and let me know how you find it. If you've enjoyed the videos I've been putting out, please, please subscribe to my channel. You can leave me your comments and uh, questions in the comment box below and I'll respond to them. And until my next video, bon appetit.